Gustavus Adolphus was the king of Sweden from 1611 until 1632. He is often regarded as one of the greatest military leaders of all time. Some historians have called him the father of modern warfare for his military innovations on the battlefield. He is also the only Swedish monarch to be styled the Great. As a child growing up as the son of King Charles IX of Sweden, Gustavus was given an excellent education in the lessons of governance. His given tutors were among the best that Sweden had to offer. Still a child, Gustavus became fluent in five languages and performed functionally well in five others. He had an enormous appetite for learning, excelling in history, literature, and science. Gustavus became well known for debating nobles, as well as visiting ambassadors and aristocrats. By the time Gustavus was 15, he grew increasingly interested in military affairs. He had spent time among some world-class military officers, for which he had learned many things that would characterize his future reign as king. In early 1611, Denmark invaded Sweden's southeastern coast, captured the city of Kalmar, and captured or destroyed many other towns. Soon afterwards, at the age of 16, Gustavus was knighted and led his first military expedition against the Danish attackers. He quickly recaptured an island that lay directly opposite of Kalmar and destroyed an occupied town by deceiving the defending troops by outfitting his soldiers in the uniform of the enemy. A few other actions were successful against the Danes in War the months cries. to come. By the fall of that year, his father King Charles IX died. Gustavus became king and commander-in-chief at the age of 16. King Christian of Denmark saw an opportunity to end the war quickly from the death of Charles and attempted to conquer Sweden's capital of Stockholm in 1612. Gustavus rushed his much smaller army to Stockholm before the Danes reached the city. He put every available civilian man in the city in uniform to make it appear he had a much larger army defending the city. The tactic worked, as the Danes withdrew from ever attacking Stockholm, not knowing that most of the defenders were untrained civilians. Peace was concluded in 1613, with Denmark unable to defeat the Swedish entirely. As Sweden was not forced to give up any territory, Gustavus had saved Sweden from what had been a costly and devastating defeat. As king, Gustavus's military innovations and revolutionary developments in warfare laid the foundations of military practices for the next two centuries after his death. In the years before Gustavus's reign of King of Sweden, European armies were largely conscripted soldiers or large numbers of foreign mercenaries hired just before marching to battle. After the wars, these conscripts and soldiers for hire were quickly mustered out of the army until their next order of battle. Gustavus changed all of that by having a regular standing army that was well trained, well drilled, armed with fine weapons, and that were paid on time. He used Swedes as officers and soldiers, creating a true national army. When he did use mercenaries, he made sure they were trained in the Swedish ways of war. As a general, Gustavus is famous for employing mobile artillery on the battlefield, disregarding the big, cumbersome cannons favored by many leaders of his day. He opted for lighter and maneuverable field Hello, pieces Forsen. that could be quickly I have moved not heard to give you fire, say no. whereas infantry do not. needed support that at you a particular not. time. To do no he more, was a great that we should in the not send aid, arms, that there is no room for more, that we, that you, that I he should not, one pike for you haven't, muskets. you have not said it for was enough to keep enemy cavalry from decimating the infantry, okay. no but also names. plenty of offensive firepower at the same time. With this, he disregarded traditional pike squares common in European formations of the time. Another important is innovation this voice was AI generated in which infantry and cavalry units were also trained to fire or artillery. Is very pikemen could load and fire monotone. a musket, and artillery and infantry soldiers and could ride a horse. To... All of his innovations were realized in the single biggest battle of his career, the Battle of Breitenfield, that took place in 1631 during the Thirty Years' War. The Thirty Years' War of 1618 to 1648 was primarily a war between various Protestant and Catholic states in the fragmented Holy Roman Empire. 
Sweden entered the war allied with the Protestant cause. The Swedish army was joined by an allied German force for the battle. In this battle, Gustavus's innovative strategy of stressing attack over defense and mobility over static lines were employed. Combined forces of light, heavy infantry mixed with pikemen formed his defense against enemy cavalry attacks. Light, mobile artillery was used to provide offense and defense against a changing battlefield. Wow. He was quiet, the guy. Welcome.